So it's not just the understanding of, well, he dealt with my sin, so I can just do whatever I want. Because when you do that, you're keeping yourself from all that he's purposed for your life. How many of you know that you will reap what you sow? So the fact that you're a new creation in Christ Jesus, if you eat bacon for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you're going to have heart problems one day. Is anybody out there? But he's my healer. Well, what are you going to do with the fact that he's your healer? Does that mean you just eat whatever you want and live however you want and do whatever you want to your body because he's your healer? I don't have to exercise because I gave my heart to Jesus. I can eat as many Twinkies as I want. And, you know, I do this prayer all the time. Thank you, Jesus, for eliminating every calorie in this. So that when I eat it, it will be nourishing to my body. Sounds silly? We do it all the time. Lord, bless this mess. <laughs> bless this mess, Lord. Lord said, I did. I already blessed you. But the thing is, once we realize who we are, there's things that have to change. It just has no place in my new life. And I can't see all that God has purposed for my life come to pass if I live like he doesn't matter. He doesn't matter. I mean, does the cross matter? Does his shed blood matter? Does, do his stripes matter to you? The stripes he bore on his flesh as it was ripped from him, does that matter? Are we living in a way and in a manner that says what you did and accomplished for me and what you've done for me means something to me? So it says, present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto the Lord, which is your true and proper worship, which is the understanding that I don't belong to me. I don't get to tell myself what I get to do. Why? Because I'm no longer governed by my carnal mind. Is everybody getting this? This isn't telling me what to do. This has to be telling me what to do. I'm not talking about my stomach. I'm talking about my spirit man. My inner being has to be talking. The spirit of God that lives in me has to be awakening me to see what I've not seen and hear what I've not heard and, and, and walk in, the, in a manner of life that is pleasing to God because he made it available to me through Jesus Christ. 